Hey guys, welcome back. So, looking at the corn there, uh, the corn is dry and ready to go, and that's what I should be doing, but that's not what I'm doing today. This is what I'm doing. Uh, the four weeks of rain kind of messed up our fall workflow, so we're uh, spreading manure prior to planting wheat. I've spent the last week working wheat ground and need to get it done so that we can start on the corn. Okay guys, back in the field, spreading manure. Uh, two things that I want to talk about today, so this is a wheat field, I'm going to slow my rate way down. First thing I want to talk about in organic farming, it's a lot better to spread your manure and cover more area with a thinner dose than to spread a thick dose over a relatively small area. And so. This is why I love that top feeder on that Myers spreader. You can see my spread pattern there. I am running 600 RPMs through the PTO. That keeps my beaters wound up and that's really uh, atomizing that manure. So what we got going on here, uh, this was a field where we had wheat this year. Uh, the clover failed, I interseeded, or I uh, you know, put in the cover crop of the cowpeas and the sedan. And uh, the clover died in the wheat. And so how I'm addressing that, I am coming back to wheat in this field. And uh, I am going to spread manure on this poor side slope here. I'm playing with my rate here, trying to get it adjusted. But the big lesson today is spread more manure over more acres than your rate out. You're better off looking back there, the ground's black. And so I am a little bit heavy. Slow my rate down here and increase the ground speed. But you need to spread manure in August. So the last manure video I showed you, uh, I was spreading manure prior to corn ground. Uh, I don't like to spread manure ahead of a row crop. And the reason for that is very simple. I don't want a flush of weeds. Uh, it has been my experience that when you spread raw manure on ground, it changes the soil chemistry and you tend to get a flush of weeds. And so my preferred time to spread manure is August or September ahead of wheat. The reason for that is when you spread manure on these poor hills in that time frame, uh, you give a big jump to the red clover, so then the red clover will do a better job of fixing nitrogen for the subsequent crops. Uh, the red clover is far more competitive against the weeds that you have out here, the cool season weeds, and then the uh, early spring ones, the ragweed and the foxtail. Uh, but it, it makes the clover a lot better lot better competitor and that sets you up better for that third year of the rotation when you are coming back with a row crop. Uh, spreading manure ahead of wheat, obviously the weeds are not the problem in wheat. Uh, wheat suppresses it and the final point is in August or September theoretically uh, the manure is as dry as possible so you're spreading less spreading less overall tonnage. Anyway, that's what we got going on, guys.